So it's always great to call out some of the inspirations that I've had through, you know, this whole YouTube thing when I started, you know, watching, what year was that? 2014. I didn't have the internet before that. How did I survive? Yeah, I know. It's uh, I had a phone. <laughs> It was barely dial-up speed, but I got on the internet a little bit. But then I got some high-speed internet. And I can watch videos like uh, Bernard Chapin with the Inferno. He was he, He's one of my OG favorites. Still watch uh, his show. Just don't call him Bernie. Doesn't like that very much. Aaron Clary, Dr. Random McCam, Goodfella, Bass FZZ. Just a bunch of these really, I think, interesting content creators. Chapin has a uh, a show every weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I think it's both days, The Inferno, where he talks about stuff. And today's inspiration is coming from <laughs> Chapin's Inferno today. He entitled this Dump Him, and I started digging into this a little bit. And basically, it's some chick who apparently found a font program somewhere and used it to create a couple of t-shirts. And no, she's the second coming. Florence Given, 20-year-old illustrator. Hey, I can use a font package myself. I guess I could be a, a hamster illustrator. She wants you to dump him. She's a feminist. Uh oh Who would have ever guessed? Couple of selections here. Life is short, dump them. Meaning the evil man's, of course. It's a wonderful day to dump him. Stop raising him, he's not your son. <laughs> From a 20-year-old brat with a early gunt. If you need a definition of that, Terrence Pop will tell you all about it. She's 20 years old, the British illustrators, meaning I can use a font package. And Photoshop, whoa, an artist. It's Monet, it's Van Gogh, it's <laughs> Da Vinci. Oh, this is what passes for journalism today, folks. And this is what passes for an artiste. So apparently she has some t-shirts. Tote bags. Oh, God. She's been named Cosmopolitan's Influencer of the Year for 2019. Wow. You get a font package, put some words on a t-shirt, have it printed at the local 24-hour printing shop, and you're a freaking Influencer of the Year. Holy shit, people. I didn't know it was that easy. I wouldn't even have bothered with engineering school. Why would I do that? I could just get Adobe and make t-shirts and be an influencer. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work that way, does it? Of course, Given's designs don't just pack a style punch because that would be not enough. Gotta have some feminist message in there, don't we? Feminism. Feminism. Through slogans such as protect your energy. Not taking any more sexist bullshit. And off for a shag. <laughs> Given claims to empower women. Let me translate that for you. They can have sex with as many guys as they want. And you can't say anything, you patriarchal slut-shaming son of a bitch. Embrace their sexuality. <laughs> so she's got some murals here. I don't know if it's her or not that did it. But... it says feminists wear pink. Oh, exciting. Quote, I want to encourage women to question the world that they were born into. Given tells the Independent, I want them to find their power and realize that they should never settle for less than they deserve. You can have it all, baby. You can have it all. I wonder when she's going to be turning by curious Probably pretty quick. So it might come as no surprise that Given was inspired to create one of her most revered designs, a slogan t-shirt that simply reads, Dump him in a swirly 70s-inspired font, courtesy of Photoshop. In the wake of a breakup, quote, I dumped my boyfriend and realized that I had been pouring so much of my time and energy into someone who had no intention of giving it back. The illustrator explains, um, that's because you were batting above your frickin' weight, sweetie. Yeah, you, you, you got some kind of an alpha dude or, or Chad or Tyrone. He had no intention of settling for you. <laughs> you kidding me? Oh my God, what is it about these women that they don't understand? The players, they're not gonna freaking settle down. They're banging and leaving. Ghosting, as Zombie Kush would say on Dead Chronic. She continues, I was running on empty and for what? <gasps> I had been constantly trying to fix and grow someone when I could have been putting that energy into myself. In other words, he wasn't gonna settle. He wasn't going to be exclusive. And she thought she deserved it. And she's 20. So she deserves it. Given explains how she tired of mothering a man-child. <laughs> uh, barely out of, ch you know, uh, barely into adulthood herself. And she's mothering a man-child. You know why you did all kinds of shit for him? Because he was hot. And you're not. 
I mean, look at the gunt. Look at the gunt on this. I mean, it's not <laughs> a 600-pound life gunt, but it uh, has the potential. Quote, I realized that this was a role women so readily accept that being a servile <laughs> servant, a slave to the men. We just do it for the validation that someone loves us. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to use my experience to hopefully lead other women to the same liberating realization that you don't have to settle. You are the love of your own life. Oh my God. <laughs> and everything else is a distraction. Powerful messages, blah, blah, freaking blah, and blah, 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 blah. Stop valuing women based on their sexual history is one t-shirt here. Hey, uh, Florence, stop valuing men on the size of their wallet or the size of their dick or how tall they are. What do those things have in common? We have no control over how tall we are or the size of our dick. We do have control over how much money we make and you have control over not being a freaking slut. But I'm sorry, that would mean consequences for your actions. Here's what she wrote. My t-shirt in front of Piers Morgan is a goddamn mood. What is this? It's a mood. What, 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 what are we changing the language? It's a mood. I used to hear, I'm in a very, very bad mood. Or I have a mood ring. It's a mood. Oh, okay, sure. I'm just not hip with the kids, guys. What am I going to do, right? They listen to that rock and roll devil music. That's what I'm saying. They need to read the Bible. So given whose role models include some people that nobody has ever heard of, dropped out last year of college to pursue art and writing full time. Despite the clear political statement she makes through her designs, Gibbons, or Gibbon prefers not to call herself an activist. Quote, I'm an artist and I'm a writer. Well, welcome to the freaking human race. <laughs> Where anybody with a Photoshop, font package, and a keyboard can do the same. Ooh, but you're so special. And guess what, guys? Here's the bonus. She's penning her first book. How the prevalence of the male gaze has shaped society's view of female sexuality. Of course, what she means when you peel back the onion, man, I don't like looking at me. <laughs> Links below to all the channels and this um, article in The Independent. And thanks, Chapin's Inferno, for the uh, inspiration. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.